All right, welcome back to the second in a series of videos educating you on the blockchain and on cryptocurrency. And in today's video, I want to talk about how to avoid being a cryptocurrency whack-a-mole. What do I mean by being a cryptocurrency whack-a-mole? Well, most people are investing in cryptocurrency the way that they invest in stock, and that is that they don't really know anything in particular about the cryptocurrency they're investing in or the stock that they're investing in. They have just simply heard that that's something that is hot, something that they should jump into, and so they're diving into it with fear of missing out. They're diving into it based on greed and based on emotion. And what's going to happen happen is they're quickly going to become a whack-a-mole because why are they a whack-a-mole? You don't hear of, you don't see them and then the buzz starts to rise around a cryptocurrency. The, the buzz causes them to pop their head up, they grab onto that cryptocurrency and then when the volatility hit, hits, whack, they're done because emotion is going to drive their next decision which is going to mean they're just going to sell out of it because they don't really understand what they got into in the first place and they're going to have lost money. You do do not want to be that. Don't be a whack-a-mole. Here's how you avoid that. Only buy into cryptocurrencies that you understand and believe in for the long haul. Let me tell you what's going on right now. We're in a place where the world is about to change very, very rapidly right before our eyes. There's an underlying technology that is more disruptive than the internet, and it is going to change everything. And if you understood what happened back when the internet emerged and all of the opportunity that created, you understand how big this opportunity can be, but you also have to remember that when there was the beginning of the internet and all of that blue ocean and all of that opportunity, there was also a lot of dead bodies left in the wake. Of course, we all know about the dot-com bubble, but it goes way beyond the bubble. You see, people were, were – the market was feeling out how this technology would really – become usable and become impactful and the ways that people were going to actually be able to sink their teeth into utilizing the technology to make the marketplace more efficient and drive productivity and drive value to consumers. And so people were reaching for all these different ways to find out, could the internet play a role here? Could this be something of value? Would people spend money in this way? And what happened was there were thousands and thousands of dot-coms that emerged. Well, what happened? Most of them went away. In every new emerging market, there is what is called a period of consolidation. The thousands and thousands of dot coms came, and thousands of th and thousands of dot coms went. For every you know Amazon.com, there was the Pets.com and the Buy.com and all of these other dot coms that came and went because they didn't have the staying power. They the underlying technology of the internet allowed for there to be opportunity, but it also created a, situ a situation where the marketplace does what it does. Lots of people try to test whether they have value. Most of them find out that they don't, and there's a period of consolidation. That is going to happen with cryptocurrency. Right now, you have over 1,200 cryptocurrencies. There are new cryptocurrencies emerging every day. What you have to understand is that the cryptocurrency isn't the big deal. We're going to talk about this in the next video. The big deal is the underlying technology called the blockchain. The cryptocurrency is a byproduct of the blockchain. And so the blockchain is going to be tested like the dot coms tested the internet. There's going to be many, many people who come up with different philosophies and things they believe are ways the blockchain will revolutionize commerce, revolutionize value, revolutionize the world. And so what we're going to see is this emergence of thousands of potential applications of the blockchain, but then there will be a period of consolidation. And and so what's going to happen because of that is you're going to have these wild, violent swings in the valuations of various cryptocurrencies. And if you aren't into a cryptocurrency because you believe in its underlying application and because you believe in what it's going to do for the long haul, you're going to get whacked.
because it's going to go up and down. And some days you might see a cryptocurrency fluctuate as much as 20% up and then 20% back down all in the same day. In some cases, even more than that. We have cryptocurrencies that have changed their position by more than 3,000% one way or the other within a 30-day period of time. Not every cryptocurrency is going to make it. So you shouldn't be in because you're thinking, well, I heard that if you bought into Bitcoin now, you know, you could be a millionaire in the next month. You should be thinking about the underlying applications. You should understand them. You should find some that you are passionate about and that you want to be in for the long haul. You know, $5,000 in Amazon.com in, I think, 1999 or so would have been worth over a million dollars or roughly a million dollars today. If you bought into Amazon, though, and sold out when it was losing, you didn't make the million dollars. You had to buy into Amazon and still be in it today. Most people don't have that kind of staying power. So this is the next big lesson. Focus on the underlying application. Focus on the things that you believe are going to be the winners long term. We're going to help you try to determine who those winners could be. And none of us have a crystal ball. I don't have a crystal ball. I have things that I can kind of see how it could play out and why these particular currencies and the underlying blockchain applications could be the next Amazon.com of the blockchain transformation. But we don't really know. You need to find the ones that you're passionate about, get into those for the long haul, and don't worry about the volatility up and down. Now, by the way, am I saying that there's not an opportunity for trading within that volatility and and basically trading in the way that people day trade stock or day trade foreign um, currencies like Forex? Of course, there's some opportunity to do that. But that's a game that very few people are going to be able to play because if understanding blockchain is something that is beyond the average person, understanding how to play the trends within these currencies is way beyond what the average person is going to be willing able to do. So I encourage you, that's probably not you. Don't worry about that. What you need to be thinking about is there's a transformational technology, it's bigger than the internet, and if I can pick a couple of winners long term over the next 10 years, this could end up being very, very significant to my family. That's how you want to think about this game. Don't be a cryptocurrency whack-a-mole. Don't get whacked. Understand the, understand the technology, understand the long-term play, Pick the winners that you think are going to be there long term, and then don't worry about the internal volatility until the time comes that we see who the winners and losers were. Okay, with that said, guys, next video we will be talking about this underlying technology that is the really big thing, the really big deal, not the cryptocurrency, the stuff beneath the cryptocurrency. Like this video, subscribe, and in the next video we'll start to educate you on the blockchain. God bless you guys.